I'm looking down into the field of that blue, blue field Saruk, and we can see as we take a look around that it's a wool wool pile. We have yellow and brown and blue and we have green and red. We've got a nice range of colors. This is a very, very nicely done Saruk. Um, but right here, and you look at the way the wool glistens. You see the way the light reflects off of, of the various colors and you can see it sparkle a little bit. That's the sign of a nice wool rug. But right here we've got a flat white dot. Okay. Why is that flat and white when everything else around it sparkles? Well, the difference is, is this is wool and this is cotton. Why then? Why would a wool pile rug, a saruk, this saruk is, is, is wool pile on a cotton foundation, why would it have a, a small dot, one knot tied in cotton? Well, it's not all that difficult to understand. It's got a cotton foundation. So when the cotton on the loom, um, as it was being made, would snap, they would retie it. So what we're seeing here is actually, in this, um, uh, we're seeing the end of, um, of repair done on the loom. Now, um, when this rug was brand new, the pile was uh, longer and thicker, and you wouldn't have noticed it. Uh, but here, as the rug is, um, this rug's got a substantial amount of pile, but still we're seeing um, some some white dots from the broken wefts. Um, uh, excuse me, broken warps, not broken wefts. A broken weft wouldn't be so obvious or serious. They could just fix that easily. It wouldn't be a matter of knotting. Uh, but here they've knotted the broken warp to repair something on the loom. Um, as this rug would get thinner and thinner over the next many years, um, you would probably want to take a marker, um, what we call a magic marker, or um, um, uh, I think the technical term is topically applied field dyes or some such silly thing. Anyway, we take a marker and we touch it up. If it's in a blue area, we hit it with a little bit of blue. Uh, we don't try and do too much. We just try and color in that. That's often done. It's not required. You know, this would be a serious defect in a, um, in a workshop Isfahan carpet. It's not considered a serious defect in a Saruk carpet. Um, a wool on silk Isfahan can go all the way up to, um, I've seen, I've seen a say Rafian at 1600 knots per square inch. Um, uh, few others, Hagigi and some of the others, get up that high as well. In a Saruk, we're only talking about, well, less than 160 knots per square inch, 157 in this rug. So um, we don't hold it to the same standards as we do a workshop rug. So we have to keep in mind what is perfectly uh, appropriate in one rug may be a serious problem in a different rug.